The wait is finally over. Four years after Sex in the City ended, to the wails of women the world over, Carrie, Samantha, Charlotte and Miranda are back with the movie. The world premiere has been held here in London's Leicester Square, which has caused some controversy as the girls are based in New York. But it does mean that Mirror.co.uk gets to see the stars first. Sarah, what do you think about the decision to hold the world premiere in London? Well, this is what New Line planned and wanted, and um, we feel thrilled to kick it off here. And then it'll be incredibly meaningful to take it home to America, its birthplace, and, uh, and finish the sentence there. It should have been in New York first, you know, but... Uh... I'm glad that we came here, because whether it's before or after. But in the scheme of things, who the hell's going to remember it anyway? With what came first? You know, the chicken or the Brit? What came first? Who knows? It doesn't matter. But I'm glad we're here. But I, you know... Yeah, I'll go on record to say New York first, sure. But then again, maybe we're saving the best for last. Maybe that's why they did it that way. What different challenges did you face uh, translating the script onto the big screen? You know, the interesting thing, it was there are very few movies with four female leads. So it was a different type of storytelling, a bigger picture than most people are allowed to tell. So to get it all on one screen was, uh, was a, quite a challenge, but I had the actresses that are perfect to do it with. Chris, what was the best thing about being back with the girls? You know, we've all been together, even though you haven't been seeing us. But yes. to have our regalia on, <laughs> stomping down the street again, was really, really surreal amazing. and amazing. And this is possibly going to top that, right? <laughs> Are you a big fan of Sex in the City? I never watch TV, I've no idea. I've just seen photographs every now and again, and she has always worn our clothes in this series, yeah. and that's how I know about it, and I know about her. And apparently English people are really big fans of it, and that's why the premiere's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you a big fan of Sex in the City? You know, I've never seen it. Don't tell anyone. No. My friend produced this film, so I thought I'd... You can't, you've Good never team. seen one episode. No, I've seen bits. I've yeah. seen Kim Cattrall and Very Hunky Man. Yeah, the sex scene? Yes, the sex scene, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm a massive fan of Sex in the City like everybody else here tonight. I just got really excited because I've just <laughs> seen them over there. Brilliant. Who would you compare, which one would you compare yourself to? Um, God, I wonder if I compare them to the um, two fabulous. But if I could, in my wildest dreams, be any one of them, I'd be Samantha and Carrie's love child, I reckon. <laughs> Which one would you compare yourself to? I think I'd have to be Kim Cattrall. And why is that? <laughs> because I'm not sweet. <laughs> have you, have you uh, copied any of her scenes in the film with her? I might have done, I might have done, but I'm not going to share those with you. <laughs> probably Charlotte, actually. Um, yeah, I think probably Charlotte, her style and the way she is. and Yeah, very much so. And we look... Not, we don't look similar, oh, but yeah. she's dark hair, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> Have you ever met them before? Any no, of I can believe it. And I saw um, Sarah Jessica Parker up there, and I said, like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. I can't wait to see them in, in the real life. There's some fabulous dresses here tonight. Where, where's your dress from? Um, it's Mark Jacobs. And, um, yeah, I love it, because it's just simple and sort of classic, though, as well. How are you? What brings you here tonight? They said it was a good movie show tonight, so I thought I was going to come and check it out. Have you a big fan of Sex in the City? I can say I honestly like watching the show. I can't, I can't even front. Uh, it's just one of those things where somebody turned me on to it, and then, you know, you find yourself, uh, I don't want to watch this, what is this? And then you're like, but when's that one show come on again? And then before you know it, you're, you're, you're trying to flip through HBO and see where it is. <laughs> I produced it, yes, with Michael Patrick and John Melfi. And um, what, was the, what is the message that you really wanted to get across? I think we're not in the business of getting messages across to anybody. We just wanted to produce a movie that told a great story, and that sort of paid back the debt that we feel to this audience. And um, Michael Patrick is extraordinarily equipped to tell these women's stories, and um, we just hope we produce a nice experience.